Okay, um, a little pre-warning about this recipe. Um, so this is a stuffed cookie and we're gonna make the filling first. The filling is going to need to sit in the freezer for three hours. I'm so sorry, I know. I hate these waiting ones, but the recipe looks really good and I'm a Nutella fiend. When you get your Nutella from the grocery store, stick it in the fridge. Um, open it up, stir it up, stick it in the fridge. Don't put it in the freezer unless it's just gonna be for like 15 minutes before you go to scoop your filling because I put mine in the freezer for an hour and it's now frozen solid. So um, when you go shopping and you get your jar of Nutella, you're going to open it, stir it because it separates it, and put it in the fridge for the next couple days. Just put it at the back of the fridge so it stays nice and cold, okay? That's what you're gonna wanna do. Um, and then, yeah, we'll, we'll get into the video here. Hello and welcome to the 2024 Baking Challenge. I have selected 52 recipes, new to me, I've never tried them before, from one of my favorite websites, King Arthur Baking Company. So that's one new recipe every single week for the entire year. Some of these are gonna be sweet treats and others are gonna be things that you may wanna put on the dinner table. I can promise you four things. We're gonna be baking on a budget, I'm gonna be cutting corners and simplifying things wherever I can. Some of these recipes may end up getting tweaked a little bit on my end because we have a picky eater in the household and I have a really long list of food allergies. And the fourth thing that I can promise you is that I'm gonna make a lot of mistakes. It's what my friends and I kind of have dubbed chaos baking. I make mistakes and that's okay because I'm learning and I'm not a professional baker, I'm just here for a tasty time and I hope you are too. That being said, this is week number 10 and we are making salty and sweet Nutella stuffed cookies. So if that sounds good for you, stay tuned and let's get baking. I picked this recipe because of the photos. Not gonna lie, the photos on the website were amazing and I'm a Nutella fan. So I thought, sure, I'm gonna put these on the list. And I didn't pay very close attention to the actual recipe. I just looked at the picture, scanned the ingredients and said, yes, we're making that. Um, <laughs> This is a little bit more involved than I expected it to be. So if you saw the release of the ingredient list on Wednesday morning, you're gonna see that I said, when you get your Nutella, put it in, open it up, stir it to mix it, and then stick it in the back of your fridge. You're gonna want this to be cold. You can even put it in the freezer for about 20 to 40 minutes before you do this first step because we have to scoop this into balls, <laughs> balls of Nutella. Um, this recipe only makes a dozen cookies, so you may want to double it if you need more. I'm only gonna make a dozen. Um, also, once we scoop these, this is gonna be the center of our cookies. Once we scoop these, they're gonna have to sit in the freezer for three hours. I know, I'm so sorry. For some reason, I pick a lot of recipes with a lot of wait time, so I apologize, but come on. Nutella stuffed cookies. So here we go. Now I did make the mistake of putting mine in the freezer for like an hour. I'm also gonna need a smaller spoon. Um, so I put mine in the freezer for like probably an hour and a half and that was way too long. So the recipe says that we're gonna need a teaspoon cookie scoop to fill this. So that would be the perfect tool. I don't have a teaspoon cookie, so I just have a regular teaspoon, and I'm gonna just kind of try to use it like an ice cream scoop. So let me zoom in on this so that you can kind of see a little bit better here. My camera work is a little shoddy. So here we go. One teaspoon, I'm gonna make 12 of these. And I kind of feel like I can round them out a little bit better once they're frozen. So I'm just gonna do the best that I can. I love Nutella so much. It is absolutely one of my favorite things. 
Um, if you have been here from the beginning, week one was the cinnamon star bread where I used Nutella instead of cinnamon sugar in my star bread. It was amazing. Um, I also used Nutella for one of the tasty toaster tarts. I think that was week three or four. It's getting all muddied in my mind now. Um, but man, I love this stuff. It's just so tasty. Yes, definitely freezing it. If you're gonna freeze it um, and use a spoon like this, make sure you're using a metal spoon because this is hard to scoop out. And I can absolutely see that you could 100% break a plastic spoon. Um, I'm lucky this spoon has really strong uh, handle on it here, so. So yeah, the recipe says these need to be about an inch in size. Basically, we're gonna put these in the freezer um, and then we'll make our cookie dough and we're going to mold our cookie dough around these. So there's eight. And you want to make sure that your pan is lined with parchment paper. Okay, three more to go. I am really excited about this recipe. Malcolm is excited about it too, because chocolate, hazelnut, and salt. Yes, please. Also, you don't have to, I know I included it on Wednesday, you don't have to use Nutella. You could use peanut butter instead. Um, you know, I know the recipe said that they did try it with peanut butter um, and then made the peanut, the cookie peanut butter as well. And it was just like basically taking a bite of peanut butter. I don't see why you can't do a peanut butter center in a chocolate cookie. Like that sounds good to me. All right, there are my 12 balls of Nutella. I will never stop thinking that that's funny, I'm sorry. So these are gonna go in the freezer uncovered for three hours and then we're gonna come back and make our cookie dough. So I'll see you in three hours. Again, so sorry about the freezing time, but fingers crossed that this turns out to be an amazing recipe. Okay, so as you can see, it is not the same day, cause life, am I right? Um, my Nutella is frozen solid. Like this stuff is ridiculously frozen. That's okay, it's fine. I probably should have gotten it out of the freezer just a little bit sooner than I did and maybe not dropped it in the deep freeze for a few days. It's fine, no biggie, we're just gonna work with it here. Um, you're gonna want to turn your oven on to 350 degrees, make sure you get that preheated. You're going to cover your baking sheets or sheet, it depends on what size you have. So only makes a dozen cookies. Um, you're gonna cover that with parchment paper. There we go. All right, I think I can probably fit a dozen on here. I don't think they spread too much. So fingers crossed. Okay, what are we doing next? Um, we're gonna mix all of our dough ingredients together and that's not a lot of stuff, okay? So we have one cup of flour. I'm gonna to have to refill my flour container soon because I am scraping the bottom of the barrel here. So one cup of flour, all purpose flour. This is a half a cup, so I'm doing it twice because that's math. Baking math is the only math that I am somewhat good at. And even then, when I have to like split a recipe, I'm calling in the big guns. I always call Scott and I'm like, okay, this is the recipe. I'm trying to cut it in half. Would you double check my work? Because I will mess it up. All right, so we have our cup of flour and then we're going to have a cup of chocolate hazelnut spread. Stir it up first, because it's going to separate. They did say um, in the notes that they tried a few different spreads and Nutella was the best one. 
Um, I am out of Nutella, so I'm going with the Great Value Hazelnut Spread. Now they also said that you could do peanut butter with this. And they did say that when you use peanut butter and then you use the peanut butter for the cookie dough, it just tasted like a really gooey peanut butter cookie and basically like you're just eating peanut butter. I was kind of thinking if I like the way that these turn out, maybe next time I'll make a chocolate hazelnut cookie with a peanut butter center. I think that could be really good. I need a measuring cup. That is a cup. <laughs> One cup. Yeah. Please pause for my shenanigans. That is three fourths of a cup. I really need to organize my drawer a little bit better. Here we go. One cup coming up. Okay. About to get messy. I'm not using the mixer for this. I figured that I could just hand mix it because there's so few ingredients. And I didn't want to move my mixer. It's, oop, see, I'm already making a mess. Um, my mixer lives on the counter by the garage door, which is all the way over there. And it's heavy. And there's no good way to set a camera up over there, so I always move it over here. Um, wow, this might take almost the whole jar, which is fine. I'm not using it for anything else. Now I'm getting a phone call. Boop. Nope. Decline. Oh, shoot. Did it skip? It may have skipped there because I got a phone call. If it did, I'll, I'll try to fix it. Um, it is going to take pretty much this entire container, which is a 13 ounce container of hazelnut spread. And I got it all over the counter. So That'll be fun to clean up. It's all over the cutting board. <laughs> chaos baking means chaotic messes to clean up later. I'm both sad and glad that this recipe only makes a dozen cookies because I think this is going to be one of those things that's going to be really, really good and is going to cause me to have some willpower issues. If you know, you know. Oh my gosh. This is almost as bad as getting like honey or molasses out after you've measured it. It's always a pain in the butt. Um, but that's okay. We're, we're getting it done. We're making it happen. We're making something happen. <laughs> that's all that matters. We're making something happen. Oh my gosh, what a mess. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Well, I'm not over here absolutely licking the Nutella off of that knife. No, not at all. I'm not going to try to. See, it's on my measuring spoons. <laughs> oh boy, that's okay. You know what? I have nothing else to do today. It's a quiet, quiet day. We are recovering from, from some kind of virus that we got on vacation. So it's all good. All right, fourth a teaspoon of table salt. And if you've been here before, you know I don't measure the salt. I just eyeball it and call it good. Eh, that's good. But I also throw raisins all over my kitchen, so what are you going to do? All right, one large egg. In we go. A tablespoon of water, which I could have gotten ahead of time, but I did not. All right, there's our tablespoon of water. And a half a teaspoon of espresso powder, optional. I think if you've been here, for these videos, you are going to know that I'm going to say this is not optional and you absolutely need this flavor enhancing magic dust. 
And I'm gonna eyeball it because I grabbed a teaspoon, but I know not to overdo it. Okay, and now you just mix all of that up. This is awesome. All I smell is the espresso powder and it makes me so happy. I swear espresso powder is like my new best friend. Oh, okay. It will be tough mixing when you get to this point, but that's okay. It needs to be a, a really thick dough because we're going to wrap it around the Nutella centers. I might actually have to add a little bit more water here. Maybe, let me see if I can muscle this into working. Ugh, this is exhausting. Maybe I should have used the mixer. It is a very, very thick dough. Nope, this'll work. This works, I got it. A little bit more. Okay, whew. Shake it out. All right. Scoop out heaping tablespoons of the dough. Okay. Flatten, okay. A heaping tablespoon of the dough. Make sure your hands are clean because we are going to be touching this. Flatten it slightly. Grab uh, one of your Nutella centers. Just one. I may have made mine too big. And then you're going to roll the dough up and over it so it is completely covering that center. And then you're gonna roll it like this to seal any cracks. We are putting it on our cookie sheet. Okay. And then we're going on from here. We're gonna repeat that process until we have 12 cookies and our centers are all gone. Once again, I am getting messy. This is not as bad as the truffles. Still, still not excited. The, the truffles were good. Don't get me wrong, but oh my gosh, the mess and the sticky and bleh, not fun. All right. Here we go. This is not hard. This is not that hard. Actually, it was a really little one, so I'm gonna take some dough back. That's my big fear with this, is that I'm gonna go through the dough too fast and I'm not gonna have 12 whole cookies. I may need to get a second uh, cookie sheet. It does say that it's not gonna spread too much. Um, so fingers crossed that that is accurate information. You just wanna make sure when you're putting it on your cookie sheet that you cannot see the centers because if you can, it's just gonna leak out and become a mess, a complete and total mess. And we don't want that. I'm excited about having cookies today. It's raining, it's, it's not cold. 57 degrees, so it's not it's not cold by any means, but it's raining and we were shocked. We were only gone for like a week and we came back and the trees are blooming, the yard is green, um, daffodils are everywhere. <laughs> what happened? We weren't gone that long. See, some of these are frozen to the bottom of the bowl. Oops. Um, yeah, I was trying to pre-make this recipe and film ahead of time so that I wouldn't feel rushed and have to do it um, the day we got back from vacation, but here we are. It's fine. It's fine. I think these are gonna turn out good just based on the, the delightful aroma of chocolate and Nutella. It's very easy recipe. I am gonna move these around a little that I can try to get them all on one cookie sheet. 
One cookie sheet means less waiting. Um, so we went to Disney World on vacation. And I have to say, um, it was fun. It was a lot of fun, actually. Um, we did the four Disney parks and we did a date Universal and it, it was magical. It was absolutely magical. I did not really care much for the Magic Kingdom out of the four Disney parks. That was my least favorite and we all agreed on that one. Um, very crowded. Uh, lots of the rides were down. The wait times were crazy long. Not, not a huge fan of that one. Uh, we loved Hollywood Studios because Star Wars. Um, Minnie and Mickey's Runaway Railroad, when, run, Runaway Railroad was a absolute delight. Loved everything about that. It was so much fun that we wrote it twice. Um, obviously, Star Wars was a huge win. Did I not make four, eight, nine, ten, oh, that's twelve. I have a lot of dough left over, so I was trying to figure out where I had gone wrong, which means I might just take some of these little ones and add some dough to them. Because I have quite a bit of dough left. I guess I was worried for nothing. Um, so my grandparents had taken me and my siblings to Disney when we were little. And I mostly remember that trip. We had gone with um, my grandparents and an aunt, an uncle, and a cousin. That's gonna be a big cookie. Let's add some to this one. This one's teeny tiny. Um, and I, I remember having fun, because you know, Disney. I remember the Indiana Jones Stunt Spectacular, and I was really happy to see that that was still there. And we took the kiddo to see that show, and it was everything that I had remembered, and more, because I can kind of enjoy the adult humor now. I mean, not like there's like crazy adult humor, but the jokes that you don't get when you're a, you know, when you're a seven-year-old or an eight-year-old. I don't remember how old I was. I don't remember what year that was. I just remember Goofy. Okay. Um, let me wipe my hands and then we're gonna sprinkle the sea salt. So we have our giant cookie balls here. And you're supposed to use a flaky sea salt. You know what, let me move the camera around so that you can see these a little better. My camera work is absolute awfulness, but that's okay. Um, so you're supposed to use like a flaky sea salt, which I do not have. And I thought about getting some, but honestly, I don't, where's my sea salt? I'm not gonna use it for much. So I opted to save the money and not worry about it. I do have kosher sea salt somewhere in this pantry. There it is. Coarse kosher sea salt, that does it. Where's the open one? <laughs> Do I have an open one? Yes, I am wearing shorts and a t-shirt and slippers. Like I said, we actually cut our vacation short by two days. We were supposed to, um, we were actually supposed to go to Hollywood Studios again on Wednesday and then fly back home on Thursday. But on Tuesday, the kiddo and I woke up feeling kind of miserable and it just escalated from there with um, both of us running fevers and feeling miserable and his fever was super high. And based on his symptoms, I was like, oh no, strep throat. Cause our COVID, we, we had COVID tests Ubered to the hotel. Um, that was fun. And they were negative. So we decided to cancel our airline tickets, rent a car, and drive home. 
and we did that. See, I might be putting too much salt on here, but oh well. Just, just trying to make it good. Okay. All right, these are salted. It's salty. Oh, try to fix my camera again. All right, these are gonna go into the oven for eight to 10 minutes. All right, eight to 10 minutes, here we go. I am crossing my fingers that this turns out and we don't have a ooey gooey mess all over the inside. So what does it say here? Sprinkle very light. Okay, we did that with the sea salt. Bake cookies for eight to 10 minutes. When done, they will have lost much of their shine. And you may see a very faint lightening of the color around the bottom third of each cookie. You're going to remove the cookies from the oven, serve warm or at room temperature. For the full melting center lava-like effect, serve warm. If they're at room temperature, the centers will be solid. You can microwave them very shortly to liquefy the centers again. So I'll see you back in about eight minutes. We'll give it a try, fingers crossed. Hopefully we end up with a delicious cookie. <sighs> that is delightful. Seriously. It's, oh, um, uh-huh, yeah, coming. My timer is about to go off and it's going off for like the fourth time. This will be 16 minutes total in the oven. There we go. Oh no, one of my cookies split. Okay. Well, they look nothing like the photo, I think. Let me scroll back up to the photo here. Um, hold on a minute. Come on. Where's the photo? Um, yeah, mine are not flat. I think I might've made my fillings a little too big. Um, so I set my timer for eight minutes and I can tell you that at eight minutes they were completely raw still. Uh, so I added two more minutes, same thing. Two more minutes after that, they were just starting to lose that shine. So I put them in for an additional um, four minutes. So 16 minutes total, right? Eight, four, two, two, four. Yes, 16 minutes total. Um, I'm gonna let these cool because I know that if I were to try to bite into one of these right now, I would burn the inside of my mouth and I don't want that. So I'll see you back in about five minutes, maybe 10 minutes. But yeah, okay. Okay, so my cookies are warm, almost cool. Uh, let's see what the verdict is here. Mm. Okay. <laughs> The center is very, very soft, not quite lava-like, but it's ooey and gooey. Um, I may have overbaked mine just a little bit, so watch that. I would imagine that when you pull them out of the oven, if you leave them alone for a few minutes, they'll continue to set up. I think that the flaky sea salt would have been better, but I really like the kick of salt. Um, I think maybe when I make, when I make these again, cause I am absolutely making these again, I would probably pick up the cookie and roll the top in salt cause it gives it a really nice kick. I am a fan. Yeah, this recipe is a winner. When I try this again, I'm going to do the chocolate Nutella cookie, but I think I'm gonna try a peanut butter center. I feel like that combination could be really good. You could reverse that too. Instead of adding a cup of Nutella to your dough, add a cup of peanut butter and see what happens and then do the hazelnut inside. So yeah, thumbs up winning recipe. Thank you so much for watching this episode of the 2024 baking challenge. These salty, sweet Nutella stuffed cookies were absolutely a winner. 
if you would like to keep watching as we progress along during the year, you should hit the subscribe button below. I am going to post a new recipe every single Saturday. All of these recipes are coming from King Arthur Baking Company because I am a fangirl. Um, these are recipes I haven't tried before, so we're going into this blind and that's okay. We're here to have fun, make messes, hopefully end up with some tasty treats. Also, you should go to the Facebook page and follow along there because every Wednesday morning, I'm gonna post the ingredient list. That way you can get your shopping done if you wanna bake along for that weekend. And you don't have to bake along for the weekend or at all if you don't want to. It's my challenge, it's not your challenge, but I welcome anybody that wants to join in. So having said that, these cookies are great. I hope you're enjoying them. I will see you next week.